joined now by Action SA Gauteng leader uh, Bongani Baloi. Bongani, of course, as uh, Action SA, you have been uh, you know, at pains explaining uh, where your coalition stands right now. What is the situation when it comes to this DA-led coalition? You were alluding a bit earlier on saying that, you know, I would even remember as early as last year, uh, you were voicing out your concerns when it comes uh, to uh, this coalition, but you're still in this coalition. So really, if you can just bring us up to speed, what is the situation now uh, when it comes to the problems in the coalition? Look, I think at this stage, let's be honest and say that the life, the expiry date of the coalition will probably reach its lifespan today. Uh, well, by the end of the day today, we expect that the ANC bloc would have won and voted out Mayor Palazzi and installed a new mayor. It's not because we did not try the Action SA, but it's because the DA was unwilling and frustrated the entire process of negotiation. Last week, Thursday, at this time, we had a deal with the PA, which the DA did not want to accept. And what baffles me with that deal is that the Action SA made the ultimate sacrifice by sacrificing two of MMC portfolios to accommodate PA which the DA felt, I don't know why they would feel uh, so strong about our sacrifice, but even wanting to dictate who gets that position that we're sacrificing as Action SA. So it has led us to this point. So it basically means that this coalition in Johannesburg today will probably come to an end. Mm -hmm. At the end, in the event, the ANC bloc is successful and votes out in Pepa and Popalatsi. How will you be voting today? Are you still voting in favor of keeping Popalatsi as Joburg mayor? We are going to vote for Mpopalatsi to remain as Jovic mayor. The moment we lose, we are going to nominate our own candidate. And everybody is free to uh, support our candidate, but will not back an DA candidate. When it comes to the future of your coalition in the city of Johannesburg, should Mpopalatsi be removed, it means then a new mayor will be voted in. And should uh, that mayor come from the minority parties, then it would mean that uh, there's a collapse of the multi-party-led coalition of course led by the DA. What will it mean for you as your position as Action SA in the city of Johannesburg? Last year, you also announced that you're pulling out from the Akuruleni uh, multi-party coalition. Will you remain in this coalition with the DA? I think after that there's no coalition because there's nothing to coalesce around. So when the mayor is voted out, Action SA will, will, will embrace his position as official or rather as opposition and will be a formidable opposition will inform and dictate the government agenda, will hold the executive to account, and most importantly, when we lose, we'll wish whoever has been elected well and hope that they can serve the residents of the city and ensure that there's sustainability and stability of the city for the residents. That's very important for us. Have you been approached by minority parties to perhaps join their coalition? No, nobody has approached us. All right, thank you very much. That is, of course, Bongani Baloi. He is uh, the Action SA's Gauteng leader. Just talking about uh, the coalition here that we are seeing in uh, the city of Johannesburg, which one would say has officially collapsed. I'm just going to ask Solim Simang from the DA uh, to just come a bit forward and just to, if you can, Soli, if you can just come behind me. Um, Soli, the DA. Today, of course, is another day where we are seeing another motion of no confidence uh, being brought before Mpo Palazzi to remove her as mayor. Last day it succeeded. That was overturned by the courts. Where are you standing right now? Solim Simang says that, uh, or rather, Bongani Valoi says that uh, they were even willing to give up their positions to have the Patriotic Alliance brought back into this multi-party uh, uh, coalition. What is the situation now when it comes to uh, this multi-party coalition, one would say that it has indeed collapsed. Yeah. Well, I think we, we, we are seeing a classic example of reverse uh, takeover. Um, and it will play itself out in the number of days that will come. But uh, I think it's important to then put a bit of perspective into the whole thing. We said that initially that uh, when the PA said that they wanted to come back, we said, well, let's um, put the positions that they had um, back on the table. And then they said, no, they wanted more. They wanted uh, seats, more seats in the Kuruleni. They wanted more seats in Johannesburg. And then we said, OK, fine, let's go engage with our FedEx. And while we're engaging with our FedEx to then find a mandate, um, statements are flying all over to then say uh, we are at the end of the road. And then we said, well, how do you then say you are at the end of the road while well, you know very well that uh, the, the party is actually then engaging to then try and find a solution to this particular problem? All of this is done in writing, and it will be made available, uh, available very, very soon. <coughs> so the DA did bend backwards, and it did actually then make the two positions uh, you know, available in Ekoruleni. 
Um, and actually we even went as far as to then say in the city of Johannesburg, um, you know, a particular portfolio that they wanted to get, uh, we were not, we were very much uncomfortable with, but we were then saying, well, there's another position that, uh, you know, we can then put as part of the proposal. So the DA has gone, um, um, gone uh, um, over and above um, to try and make sure that uh, you keep all, you know, the parties, um, you know, um, in, 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 in check and then together. But what is very much um, interesting, Bali, is that uh, you then <laughs> have a situation where while the other party has actually requested, you know, to go engage internally and has been granted by all the parties, then one party goes out and then says, no, we are ready to put another government in place. Then the question is, were you really sincere in uh, your attempt to, um, you know, allow for a, 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 a position to be taken or you were just going through the emotions in which uh, then at some point then uh, your, your plan of reverse takeover uh, was to be then uh, rolled out? Action SA, Patriotic Alliance are accusing you of not trying uh, to save Mpopalatse as the mayor uh, because, of course, we know that uh, she wants to put her name up uh, for the leader of the DA. So they're saying that she's being punished uh, by her political party for raising her hand. Are you willing to save Mpopalatse as mayor? Well, we're not saving Mpopalatse as mayor. We're saving, um, you know, the city of Johannesburg under the capable hands of Mpopalatse. Um, she enjoys our full confidence. We're the ones that went to court, by the way. Um, when everybody walked away, <laughs> when during voting everybody walked away, we said we'll spend our money, party money, to go and uh, challenge this thing. And afterwards we spent more money to make sure that, uh, you know, we set, uh, you know, uh, 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 resources in place to then communicate with the public that uh, we are not going to give up on them. And we used Mpopalati. So there's no way that we are now giving up on Mpopalati and, uh, and, 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 and uh, um, um, abandoning the project of saving Johannesburg.